Welcome back guys, so today we're gonna be some more Cast Crush And guys, today we're gonna try out the new car, the Spike Statue So we got the deck with the car right here This deck, super fun to use and working out pretty well as well So if you wanna try out the Spike Statue deck, definitely try this one out So the Spike Statue that was released sometime next week, or last week The card I did buy a special package so we got a ton of them I believe it was like 100 cards for 300 gems, something like that so it's a pretty good value compared to like different chests and so. We just count like the common cards and the rare cards in the normal chest that you buy in the shop. So I think that was pretty good value and we could upgrade that to level 6 with that package. We could upgrade it to level 7 as well if we want to but we're not gonna do that right now. The card itself, it's kind of like a stone statue so you can place that um, anywhere on the map. And that can really help you to gain like the advantage early on. Because you can place down your cards in the middle of the map if you placed it on your opponent's side of the map, you could say. And one thing that I really like to do is that I want to place down the spike statue at my opponent's castle. And then I rush with like a black knight behind that. So the spike statue that will tank for a black knight and that's a super good counter to like skeletons. It takes like two it and skeletons are out. So pretty good value right there. And guys about the tournament, I did actually manage to win the grand tournament. I didn't play too much and I didn't play in the Moss Tournament as much as I did last time. I played one Moss Tournament match and I got like 2 wins, something like that. But I didn't bother to actually get the 10 wins right there. But we managed to win the Grand Tournament, we got the new card, I'm going to show you guys. So we got the new card, we got the Hollow Knight, that will be released for everyone on December 4th I believe. So if you didn't get the Hollow Knight in the tournament, you can get it after, so don't worry about that. One thing that is very special with this card if you have not faced that yet, is that once it's defeated it will switch side. So if you place it down, it dies, then it will be your opponent's card instead. So it's a very unique card and I haven't really found a good use for it just yet. But we're gonna have tons of fun with this card guys, and I'm sure we'll find a good use for it. But guys, this spike that you deck, let's check it out. So first thing Doom right here from the Hobbit, let's see if our game can load. We might be disconnected, yeah we got disconnected right here guys. Let's see if we can have some more luck this time. Like it's taking quite a while to actually find a match, I remember one time that it took me 3 minutes to find a match, that was quite insane. So let's see now, we are facing some kind of random name, let's call him Cam. So. What can we do now early on? We got like nothing that we actually can do, we can like place the angel. But the thing is if we place down the angel we get nothing to back it up, so that's kind of a waste. Okay, so this guy he's running with the ancient demon, the best counter that we got to that is the black witch. So we're gonna wait with the black witch, we're gonna use that. He did decide to freeze, he freeze nothing. So we're gonna go with the black witch, hopefully the black witch will take after the ancient demon, let's see. It's going to need two hits, we get two hits guys, that's perfect. Okay, so what do we do? He got the spike statue as well. So there you can see the new card. He got it to level 3, so maybe got that high leveled. We got the level 6, we got an Inferno the Angel. And that's actually pretty fun because... The Angel will actually keep the spike statue alive. 1% of its health, 3%, something like that, over time. Let's see now, can we go with the Angel fast? And let's just use Natural. We'll take up the Executioner. There we go guys, perfect, that's out. And now, just because, let's use Spike Statue, no, we're gonna be too late with that. But let's do a split push here, top lane, Spike Statue, and let's go with the Black Knight. And we got the heal spell for the mud here as well. Let's wait, and let's use the heal spell. His mud, that should go out, let's see, there we go guys, perfect. And that Black Knight, look at that, the Spike Statue will take care of the skeletons, the Skull King is out, perfect. So that is how we want to use Spike Statue. So we're gonna go with the vampire that will take care of the skeletons as well as the skull king. The black knight he has to deal with that, that will go out otherwise his castle. Let's see, we need like 3 more hits. 1 hit, there we go guys, perfect, we got the game right there. And you saw the perfect combo right there with the spike statue and the black knight. Let's see, my game froze, there we go, flawless victory, and let's continue.
But yeah, start unlocking that. No, we actually have a silver chest unlocking right now, like 1 hour 30 minutes left on that. But we're gonna continue. Right, so this time we'll get a very interesting start at the end. No troops whatsoever. We get the executioner, we can play that in the next mana if we use the mana ritual before. This guy, he's running with the ancient demon just like our last opponent. So what we could do is that we could go like the mud. The mud, unless he's going to use a jump growth on the on the ancient demon, we should be pretty fine. I'm going to back that up with the angel, let's see what they will do, he will inferno. I'm ready with the heal spell. We're gonna heal right now, that will do massive damage. Let's see, one hit, one more hit. There we go guys, Dancing Demon, that is out, that's perfect. Let's go with the Mentamorph. I'm not too sure why you did not use the Giant Grove, maybe you didn't have that in this hand. You get the Lightning, what should we do? We're gonna go with Executioner. I'm not too sure if that will take care of the mud. But guys, we do have the Vampire to back that up, let's see. With Spike Touch as well, let's go with the mud. And let's just inferno it, will do damage to all troops. Okay, so this time it's not looking too good. I was thinking that the troops were pretty low. Let's go Black Witch fast and arrows. Let's see. No, the rage that will take care of the Black Witch. Right, well played, team, well played. And if you haven't seen the new emoji from the Grand Tournament, I actually have that in my sticker collection right now. So there is the new emoji. He got that as well, that's very well played by him. Let's just remove that. Too late, this is not good. And I think he's running with a Reaper deck that's very common to use like these kinds of cards. Like the shape cards and back that up with, with the protection. So we're gonna go with the Vampire, wait, wrong lane right there, he's using Stunber and this is definitely the Reaper deck. So what can we do? We can go with the Spike Statue that might do something. Let's see, and let's just use arrows, why not? There we go, the warrior is out. Now we just got the archers and he just got the stone statue. What else should we do? Let's just use the inferno. And now what do we do? I guess we could use like the black witch. Will it teleport them? It will not do that guys, so that's perfect. So this So this might be pretty good for us because now we might be able to do a comeback. That's because we did manage to defend that first Reaper push. Let's see, will the mod take care of that? There we go guys, the Reaper's out. Let's just use a heal spell on that. And now let's use the Catapult here. We're going to use the Black Knight versus the Catapult. Let's back it up with that. Oh no, this is well played by him. He did use the stomach right there and our castle that's going to go down. We can't play the Black Knight right now. But well played to him, let him be well played. And the new emoji, the skeleton with the wine glass. Right, so this time at least we get some troop cards. So let's see, next mana we can play that, the vampire. But what should we do? Should we go to Vampire? Should we go with the Spike Set? We're gonna go with Spike Set right here just so we can see what, what Shaman is the real one. So the real Shaman that is in the top lane, we're gonna go with this. And we're gonna go with the Vampire. Look at this, will that work? I hope so. It's almost out guys, and now he did use the heal spell on that, that's well played. And it's going to do a crazy amount of damage, like the, like the Shaman is throwing us at this, and then use Giant Grove on that, that's doing a crazy amount of damage. Let's see now, Black Knight, that's out. The Vampire went out as well. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. And now, just yes, because we do have the Spike Statue there in the middle, we can place down our Black Witch very close to his side. So now we're just gonna remove the arrows, and then we're gonna go with the Black Knight, and then we're gonna back that up with the Angel. That's going to be a super good combo, so let's see, Black Knight. We actually got a heal spell as well, that's super good. If he's going to use like skeletons or a black witch, we do have the inferno. He did inferno, let's heal that up. And we're gonna go with the split push. I believe he used two arrows. So I'm not too sure how much defense he got versus our, our black knight as well as the mud. So that's out, and we'll let's use a spike stat right here. Vampire that will take after black knight. But we did some decent damage, I'm kind of even up the game right now. We're quite even in castle health. 
So like five iron above us. So Black Knight that's gonna go out. There we go. Completely wasted Inferno by us. Now we are even. We're gonna go with the Black Knight. Let's back it up with Angel. Black Knight, Angel, super good combo. So let's see now that execution that will do like 150 damage, something like that. So let's see. Our Black Knight should win. There we go. Even with Rage, he did not take half that. And one hit. There we go, guys. We did get victory. That's perfect. So guys, let's do one more battle. Right, so now for the last match, we could do something super fun. We could go with a double mana troll, then use the Black Knight. But that can be a bit risky. And he's running with Angel, Fan Dancer. Guys, we're gonna go for it. Double mana troll, and then we're gonna use the Black Knight. And this might work out pretty well just because he did use Stun Bear, so we will take care of all of that. Let's hope for that. Hopefully he doesn't have one more Stun Bear. So let's see now take care of the Angel. Angel is out. Vampire that will take care of the Black Knight. So our investment right there was too good. I don't know, we did take care of three troops for that Black Knight. Including Vampire with the Giant Grove, that's perfect. We can also go with like the Vampire and back that up with the Heal Spell. But maybe we should save the heal spell for like a mod. So let's see, that's going to go out. We're gonna wait and then use the arrow. So let's just use a spike statue right here. So we're gonna wait, wait for Reaper and arrows. Yes, like that, perfect value. So now let's go with the mod. Ours is level 7, that's one more level higher than his. And we're gonna back this up with the angel so that will go out for sure. We're gonna use the vampire versus the dread. That needs like 2 hits to go out. So just like that, our mod is doing very well, we're gonna go with a Executioner. Reaper that will not take care of the mod, I'm sure of that, there we go. So a very good sword right now. As you can see right there, the spikes that will not do damage to the archers, because they are ranged units. So let's see, now we're gonna Inferno of this. There we go, all of it's out, this is perfect, we'll get this game for sure. Look at the cards that we got right now. Mod Angel, 2 Black Knights, 1 Executioner, this, this game, it's over. So let's see now, there we go, good game, we did get victory. Right, but guys, this is it for today's video, and guys, I will see you next time.